Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is a what's new in my beauty collection video. Now I have already hauled my birch box so what I will do is leave that linked up above for you if you're interested in seeing my March birch box. My April box isn't here yet but I have hauled a couple more actually quite a lot more things throughout the month. Some of this stuff has been gifted to me in PR which obviously I'll be quite open and honest about with you guys and yeah we're in lockdown. I thought I'd just share with you some of the new beauty products that have came into my collection. I'm going to start with the one thing that I thought wasn't going to arrive in my collection. So as you guys may or may not know, probably not at this point because the vlogs have slowed down a bit because we moved in here quite quickly in the end, but we are in our new house. And I made an order with Latest in Beauty, mainly because of one item to be quite honest with you. and. Um, I thought for an extra three pound I may as well order the box to get the one item and then a few more things as well of. Um, I emailed the company almost immediately when I realised what I'd done. I'd actually put the wrong start to my postcode and they basically said, sorry, look, there's nothing we can do. We say on our website, we can't help. They didn't ship for another week after that. And I thought that was really like inappropriate and not very like good customer service i even emailed the company that they would ship with and they were pretty much the same sorry there's nothing we can do to my surprise the box did come to my door and it was this one style london beauty awards 2020 so yeah to my surprise it came to my new house and it did come i was shocked i kind of got over the fact and thought i was going to miss out on the money and the items but it arrived it's actually a very heavy box. It comes in your typical black boxes and two of the items actually came separate. They're in it somewhere. I'll get them out so I can show you. Um, but yeah, I mean, their customer service really threw me off and really made me not want to order the second drop. I was actually off the day of the second drop, but then I got wrote in. So I'm glad I kind of missed out in a way as well because I didn't feel like spending my money on a company where they didn't really want to help me. And at that point, I didn't know if I was going to get this box. But anyway, let me show you what I did get. So there is a discount code to get some discount off your first subscription with them. Obviously, you may or may not know I have dipped in and out of this subscription service before. But the hype over this um, Star London Awards box is real like the hype is crazy and i honestly personally don't really understand why but that's just my opinion um yeah i just didn't see the hype i didn't find the stuff was like overly wow like i literally bought it for this so this is a huda beauty medium nudes palette and like i say i really wanted to try the formula of this out i've been like lusting over the retro retrograde palette um and yeah, I prob if I like the formula, I probably will cave and buy that at some point. But this is the colour, so you know, quite a nice neutral palette. Some rosy tones, some browns, just a nice all-rounder to see how I find the palette. And this retails for £27, so I find like I pretty much got my money's worth with this one item. And everything else was a little bit meh. But I thought, well, I could do with some new shampoo and conditioner. Um, so I ordered the new banana one. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair, Food, Banana and Coconut. I love coconut. And this for dry hair. I did have some really dry ends, but I have cut quite a bit of my hair off. It looks a lot shorter than it is now. It's quite long down my back still when it's uh, down. But I thought I'd get the shampoo and the matching conditioner. At the time of me filming this, both of these are still available. But as you can imagine, the palette has gone. And these are 98% natural, so that's quite good as well they smell amazing i i actually can't wait to try them but you know i was just a bit like i'll take it or leave it sort of thing the next hair care product i got is this one this is the wow color wow extra mystical shine spray i have actually put a shine spray in my hair today and i don't think like it's done all that much different but that's a different brand all entirely again this is a brand i know is quite um pricey and i thought i'd give it a go so I thought see, I would get on with that, but you know, I didn't really need it. I certainly didn't really want it. <laughs> Next up is a, pro a product that actually I will get a lot of use out of, and I probably will use it up shortly because I'm really good at using my body butters and body lotions these days. And this is a cream to oil, melt to reveal, soft touch 
Crabtree and Evelyn. Evelyn Rose Body Melt. Is this open? Because if it is, I really want to smell it. Oh, that is open and it looks like the attention to detail is real there. Like a like whippy sort of style. Let's get a little bit out and ruin it. Oh, that does turn into an oil quite quickly. I can imagine myself really enjoying that because if I was to pick an item out, it would definitely be more of an oil or a butter to a lotion itself. But oils, I think, are my thing. And I'd definitely like pick that over anything else if I was to go to the shop and buy something for my body. And the last item is the Amanda Harrington London Body Mousse. All of these items were full size. I did take full advantage of the full size items. And I thought if I'm going to order, I'm going to order full size items. So I did. And this is the Illuminating Bronzing Mousse with Hyaluronic Acid and Aloe Vera in Natural Rose. Let's see what the packaging on the inside looks like. Okay, so you get some gloves, that's quite good. And then you get the bottles just looks like this. Step two, colour. I actually do really want to try a fake tan. I say it all the time, but then I never really get round to it. Whilst we're in lockdown, it's probably a good time to do it because if it goes wrong, the only people that are going to see it is the people that I see at work. And let's face that, I don't really care what they think. <laughs> Okay, so overall, I'm glad that I got that box, but I was a little bit disappointed with the customer service. Um, now I'm gonna talk to you about some super drug items that I brought, um, that maybe I shouldn't have brought. I think I've even had one of these palettes before, and I, don't, I really can't remember, which is quite bad. But Barry M in Superdrug had half price sale, and there was two palettes that I really had been lusting after for a while, and I caved and got them. So this is the Fall in Love, it's usually $6.99, I paid $3.49 for it, and these are the shades on the inside, so really nice autumn shades, I'm really looking forward to using that in the autumn, I've got a long way to go, but at this rate we're not going to get a summer. And then this is the Fall in Love too. what I really like about this is you get your matte and your shimmer, so you can do like one, two, five, one and done looks, well two and done looks, but literally in the crease on the lid you're good to go sort of thing so yeah i'd be intrigued by that and then i've got the meter storm i'm sure i brought this but then i can't remember but anyway i don't have it now so this one was 9.99 reduced to 10 pound no <laughs> that'd be good would it reduced to 4.99 so half price again so i took advantage of that and thought i'll give them a go and see what i think so I actually was lucky enough to receive a brand called Good Molecules in PR and I have already transferred my address over with those ladies because they are amazing and I absolutely love the brand. So many things I've tried from them, I am more than happy to repurchase and I will make an order at some point. But I do have a lot of skincare items to get through but I absolutely love getting these new items through the posts. So the most recent item that I received from this brand is called the Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. So this is a little bit like the Paula's Choice Exfoliating Powder, I believe it's like a powder, as the name would suggest, but it is massive. Look at the size of this. Now, I'm not gonna go on and on and on about what this packaging reminds me of because I'm sure we all know if we've been watching everybody else unbox these. And I do agree, it looks like the ordinary. But I think the quality is amazing in these products and I've loved everything I've tried. And I'm not just saying that, I generally love it. And I have to force myself to try something else. Otherwise I'll use the whole lot until it's gone. That's how much I love this brand. And I could see myself only sticking to this brand if I never got a birch box or a glossy box again. That's how much I love it. Anyway, so I'm gonna open this because I am gonna try this very soon. Oh, that puffed out. So it is literally, oh God, that was a bit much. It's a powder. So when you add it to water, it, it creates like a paste and you just exfoliate your face like you would a normal exfoliate exfoliator now the Paula's Choice one I do actually quite enjoy I take it on holiday with me because it's good because it doesn't um, allow a liquids allowance obviously if you are going hand luggage only I think from here on out me and Joey are going to be booking um, with an actual estate agent so not so much these second party um, holiday lenders just because we're struggling to get some money back from our previous holiday that we had already booked with Thomas Cook and then we now need to to, to rebook again if we can go back again but anyway going off topic there 
I would take a powder exfoliator over a liquid one to save space on my liquid allowances. But I'm really excited to try this. So I can't wait. So I'll tell you a little bit about that product. So how about an influencer trip to an exotic location? Sounds like typical hype for a beauty launch. With our new pineapple exfoliating powder, there are so many possible destinations. Tahiti, Hawaii, Hawaii? <laughs> That's my mobile, Hawaii or the Maldives, just to name a few, but we wouldn't want our customers to realize that they are the only ones paying for the trips. Of course, huge profit is how other brands afford it. We're not okay with that, so we're taking a different approach and we would prefer to invest in you. By using ingredients backed by science, that makes a difference in your skin and making you sure you're amongst the first to try our new products. Take our exfoliating cleansing powder made with rice starch and pineapple enzymes to brighten and renew your skin. This gentle exfoliator comes packaged in recyclable glass, that's brilliant as well, and is only 16 dollars, uh, <laughs> which in English pounds is around 12 pounds. High price and tropical getaway are not included. Enjoy your fresh set looking skin. So this is like a little postcard that came with that product. Um, I literally got this on the day that I was moving and I was like, oh, a new product. I absolutely love the brand, honestly. And the one prior to that was this one where it came with custom fees. I was honestly shocked. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know I was getting it. And Joey paid the custom fees for me. Now I have been told that if I contact the company, they will waiver the custom fees, but I'm really, I really don't mind because I love the brand and I'm happy to pay it if I need to because the brand is so great. Okay, so where's my little card for these ones? So this one says, why wait? That is a gorgeous print. That could go on the wall. I'm having like purple and yellow in here, so this one might work. Anyway, tired of waiting to see your skincare work? This is our two latest releases filled with ingredients to deliver quick results. Let's start with the Clarify and Cleanse Bar, that's this, and it's worth $8, which is around £6. This soap-free formula doesn't strip essential moisture from your skin. It also helps to clear skin and prevent blemishes. It's made with salicylic acid, tea tree oil, kaolin, clay, rosehip and grapeseed oil, just to name a few. It works on the face or body for all skin types. Even if you don't suffer from breakouts, it's great to exfoliate pores. Second is our Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. $18, which is around £14, I believe. Uh, I'm talking about these off the top of my head. Exchange rates may have changed, but when I was looking prior, that's what they were. And that comes in a pot like this. Um, they are my favourite to reduce the appearance of puffy and tired looking eyes. They deliver caffeine, niacinamide and deep hydration to the under eye area and they'll keep you looking fresh. Makeup artists use the patches to prep the skin before makeup and I use them in the morning after a long flight. They also help with puffy eyes from allergies or a cold. Both products are vegan, fragrance free and never tested on animal. So let me know how you get on with these two hashtag good molecules. I always do um, post about good molecules on my Instagram because that was part of the plan when I um, got my first package with them but I do it because I generally enjoy the products anyway this one looks so intriguing when I opened it I was like eye patches in a tub what but when you open them I'm obviously not going to be able to tip it up too much because well I don't want them to fall on the floor but basically in here is the thinnest eye patches ever and I cannot wait to put these on my eyes. I'm shocked that I have left it so long to try these out because I've been dying to try them for the longest time but I did really want to share this with you first. So I will be putting probably some of these on tonight and sharing them on my Instagram. But honestly, so excited. And then this is the soap bar and it's just a brown soap bar with the good molecules imprinted on it. And as both suggest, they don't smell of anything. So I'm trying to do this haul in an order where if you have seen some of these items on my channel already, they're kind of intermittently popped in amongst items I haven't shared before. So I am going to share with you now a couple of palettes from a brand. Oh, 
from a brand called Lois Cosmetics. I did treat myself to these. They were a little bit of an investment, I'm not gonna lie, at 20 pound. It's not really something I do on the daily. And with all these other palettes I've bought just recently, I probably didn't need them. But anyway, this is the Lois Cosmetics Gone Rogue. And it has got my personal note in there still. Mercedes, thank you for the supporting the launch of the Lois Cosmetics. I hope you truly love your palettes, Lois. So I have used this palette once so far, so not a great deal of time. Actually, I'm lying to you, I've used it once on its own and once in conjunction with the other palette. Um, the shades that are I'm most drawn to are the bo bottom row, which you can see on the top, but I haven't used those shades yet, which is quite odd, <laughs> but I will. Um, I've used the yellow in here and the red, the pink and the green and gold shimmer, mm -hmm. so yeah. I do really like it. I feel like... Um, this one is a little bit more out of my comfort zone if I was to use it on my own. I love brights, but usually I just line my lower lash line with them, so I don't get a great deal of colour in my looks, if that makes sense. Especially not right now, while at work in the middle of lockdown. Rose Metal, um, this is a gorgeous palette with gorgeous packaging, and rumour has it that Janice, who is from Norwich, actually helped design the packaging on this one. She's obviously quite local to me. I've visited her at her house before. And this one, as you can probably tell, has a lot more wear in it, especially this shade down here and some of the other shivers, because it is gorgeous. And it is a great everyday palette for me. And honestly, I've had so much use out of this already. And I have really had to try and rein in using it because I don't want my other palettes to go unused. So I have popped this away for a little bit in terms of I've popped it in the bag ready to haul <laughs> and it will go in the drawer because I'm now back on to doing what I love and panning shades and I've picked out a few shades already so if you want to keep up to date with that then I'll leave my Instagram link down below for you because that is where I will keep my progress from here on out. But yeah, these palettes are $19.99 and you get free postage if you do buy the both because you get free postage after £35. And I truly believe that they are good palettes. I do. There are some uh, little hiccups that I would personally do, but that's just me being lazy. And like, I would like to see a light colour in the rose gold, uh, rose metal, just so that I don't have to reach to another palette. But overall, the formula is brilliant and you really don't need a lot a little goes a long way okay so uh i'm gonna do an, a little bit of a haul from aldi when i say a little bit of a haul it's two items this is the Lacura miracle cream skin protection cream 50 mils i paid 49p for this in our store they were doing the local price change on them so they can change them to a more affordable price so that people buy it and i bought it i bought one for my mum and one for one of my sisters as well and um, this is i believe yellow in color if i'm not mistaken but yeah i was um one of my colleagues actually told me to buy it so this is what color are you yeah it's like an orangey color if you can see that there and um, my sister i think my sister told me it was orange actually but um I was just intrigued to see what the benefits were of this. It smells really, really nice as well. So my sister thought it was off. That's it. It was my sister that told me because she said, was it off? I said, no, definitely not. So apply generously several times a day as needed. It helps dry skin, helps promote healthy skin, seals in moisture and protects the skin from drying effects of wind and air conditioning. Aids in the relief of irritation, redness after waxing and shaving, leaving your skin feeling supple and wonderfully soft. Rough, dry and cracked heels are a thing of the past. Soften chapped lips and dry cuticles. Eyebrows can be shaped with this and the delicate skin on your eyelids revitalise. Wow, so there's quite a lot of uses for that. Maybe I should do a video on that. No one copy. <laughs> and then finally, the West Labs Epsom salts. These are the reviving ones and they are excellent after sports and exercise, which I didn't actually realise at the time, but I'm just excited to have a bath and I wanted to buy them for that. I also bought my mum and my two sisters a bag of these because they were 49p. That's so good. Okay, um, the last few things in there is a super truck haul, which you may have seen. So I will now move on to the April's glossy box. And I haven't even opened it yet, so we'll share this one together with you. 
this is the Glossy Box Blossom edit and this is the inside packaging and the sneak peek if you want to know you probably don't but I'm going to tell you anyway is the get ready to embrace your wild side this May as we are as we introduce you to an array of beauty beauty products that make you feel fierce and free your first sneak peek is a gorgeous newly launched eyeshadow palette from Steve Laurent it boasts nine stunning hues in matte and shimmery finishes that can be used to create an array of feisty eye looks Wow. I'm excited for that. I literally bought this box and was like, right, as soon as it comes, I'll just cancel. Saw the sneak peek, not cancelling. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but anyway, um, you get 20% off rituals as well, which I'm actually really loving rituals. I think this Christmas I'm going to get a rituals and a nooks advent calendar as opposed to a branded advent calendar. Don't kill me if I change my mind because I'm allowed to change my mind. Just what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> we are only in April. Okay, so what is in this box? The reason I bought this box, by the way, is I really wanted this product here. It's the Advent product. These are retail for about nearly £100, I think. What's this one? This one is full size and it's £92. Um, yeah, and this is the Face Exfoliating um, Rose. What is it? <laughs> this is the Gentle Rose Beautifying Face Exfoliating. 50 mils, it's a full size product that is worth £92. I'm actually using the, um, or oh, I think I might have finished it now actually, primer from this brand, Day and Night Cream. I was using prior to moving, but I mo moved on to something else while I moved because it was smaller. But um, I absolutely love the brand. I know some people are like a bit hit and miss with it, but I really liked it, so I thought I'd buy it. When I checked out, I obviously signed up for a new glossy box. When I checked out, I had four or five pounds glossy credit, so I ended up paying four pound thirty-five for this box, and I got that ninety-two pound product as well as the other four items that I was gonna talk about. So that was the main reason I bought the box. But then I got some ritual product, which, as I just said, I really have grown to love this product as well. This is the Ritual of Sakura Shower Scrub, boasting a gorgeous cherry blossom scent. This two-in-one cleansing and exfoliating scrub is a treat for your body and your senses. Its luscious formula blends volcanic scrub particles with nourishing rice milk to leave your skin feeling soft and supple. Once a week, massage it into damp skin with circular motions until it transforms into a soft shower cream and then wash it off. This is a deluxe mini 70 mils and it's worth £4.60 and the full size is... 150 mils and retails for £9.90 but we have got a 20% off not that I need any more products right now okay so next up we've got a nail zinc nail polish as you guys know I am uh, very much enjoying my nail zinc nail polishes the this is full size and it retails for £11 and it's called blossom kisses spring hue with soft pink nails a delicate pastel hue with cool undertone is perfect on trend hue for this season. Better yet, its formula lasts up to 10 days and its wide brush makes it really easy to achieve a press professional looking manicure. Apply base coat, then two coats of this and then finish with a top coat. It is a really pretty colour actually. Really pretty, it actually reminds me of a nail berry polish that I absolutely love. And my nails are screaming out for a little bit of TLC. Okay, so next up we've got this Sport FX Raspberry and Rhubarb Recovery Lip Balm with an SPF 15 in it. That's good. This is also a full size product. It's lip balms are not only bursting with sheer butter, natural oils, and vitamins, but infused with an SPF 15 to protect and hydrate your nourish and nourish your palate. Better yet, whether you receive the moisturizing coconut, which I think I would have preferred, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world or the scrumptious raspberry and rhubarb, your lip balm will smell good enough to ease. Simply apply as required to receive, achieve <laughs> soft and silky lips. This is a full size and it's worth £4.99. Hmm. Is that tinted? Oh, it's a little bit tinted as well. Do you know what I love? Go on. Shall I say it? Or shall I not upset anybody right now? God forbid I upset anyone. Okay, the final item is, over the last year I have discovered it's not my favourite type of thing to use. 
but it's a brand that I generally enjoy so I will try it it has got rose in it me personally I love rose scented things so you know kind of a win-win but it is a face mask these face mask things I just don't get on with I've discovered through my beauty days <laughs> I prefer good old-fashioned face masks but anyway nourishing rose petal hydro gel mask infused with delicate rose petals and skin benefiting natural extract this hydro gel sheet mask provides your skin with an array of vitamins minerals and antioxidants together they moisturize your complexion soothe redness and repair free racial damage radical damage sorry apply for 15 minutes then remove and massage any remaining serum into your skin and admire your soft smooth and comfortable complexion this is a full size and it's worth £7.50 and there is no way on this earth that I would spend £7.50 on a sheet mask. I don't really even like sheet masks so that is not going to happen for me but I will try it out and see what I think. So last items are some items I got from Superdrug. This is a really long video but I did have a lot to share and it's actually an additional video today because well I do have a treehouse tour coming up and it's not a very long one so I thought I'd share another video with you and I wanted to use these products so I thought if I got them out and hold them I could then use them so is that everything I think so and then just one other item in this drawer okay so if you've seen the vlog you probably would have seen these items already but this is the Nivea Tinted Day Cream. It was £3.75. It's got an SPF 15 in it and it's a tinted moisturiser. As you guys know, I'm more of a BB cream and tinted moisturiser kind of gal. I'm not really about the foundation life. So I thought I'd get that. Um, there was a free for two offer and I got... Where's the third one gone? I've just gotten out of the drawer. Here it is. Three of the Barry M sprays. I'm already using the Flawless Mist and Fix matte finish setting spray i actually got this one in a glossy box last year around this time and i really liked it it's actually nearly empty this one so i thought i'd get this one because i knew i liked it but then i saw this one the all night long makeup setting spray kind of reminded me of urban decay vibes and um, these are about these two are 4.99 each and yeah i thought i'd get this one to try it out see if it's a dupe for the urban decay not that i have the urban decay one anymore but i'm sure i will know maybe i won't Maybe I don't care. I don't know. And then I got this one to try. Calming Rose. See, I told you I liked rose scented things. This is a serum mist, which I was really intrigued by. This was new and it was six ninety nine or five ninety nine, sorry, six pounds. And I got obviously one of those two free and I paid for that. Then I got two nail polishes, which I needed new ones of. The top and base coat. My cess sheet has ran out and there's one thing that really irritates me about it even though I love it and it's the fact that once it chips off it all chips off. So for a try collection one and this is the top and base coat so I'll give that a go and see what I think. And then this one is the 2-in-1 longer and stronger nails. So my nails have been quite brittle and weak at the minute I think with the things going on. Washing them all the time, hand sanitizing them all the time. They've just got a bit weak. So I thought I'd get these to try also. And I needed a third item because the Nivea wasn't on the free for two. Um, quite understandably, I suppose. It's more of like a skincare item. So I picked up a Rimmel London powder. This is in transparent and it is just one of the Rimmel London powders. Not a lot to say about it. I get through pressed powders quite quickly. So I thought I'll get something that I can get through quite quickly. I think that's everything. That is my huge beauty haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed the extra video today, just because, you know, I felt like I wanted to do it. I'm in lockdown, I'm waiting for my dinner to cook, so why not? If you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye!